There are people who don't care about living together with someone else. I used to live in share house for over two years in Tokyo, and if you're thinking about moving into share house in Tokyo, let me share my experiences for you. Recently, I talked about my share house experiences in Tokyo in the short video, and seems a lot of you guys liked it. So here's a long version of the video, and I'm going to put more details about my experiences. So the first one that I moved in was Hanasakasu. It was only one stop away from the biggest station that I was using with express train. So the location was perfect and the closest station was only 10 minutes away from my share house by walking and 12 people, actually 12 ladies, it was only for ladies because I wanted to be safe just in case and it was my first time living in share house so girl wanted to be secured extra the monthly fee was 45,000 yen per month I'll put how much in dollars right now and you know, there's always pros and cons the pros, you will get your own private room with one single bed, one little desk, what else? One little fridge, and you have washer, dryer, you have kitchen, your bathroom, not typically bathroom, but like box shower. Yeah, that's about it. So basically, you literally can move in with your own clothes, daily use stuff like makeup or like face wash, bathroom tools, and that's it, no furniture. And I know you guys want to know the cons. I think it's part of the culture thing. The share house that I moved in was not fun because people are so quiet, avoid to have communications. People literally didn't want to see each other. There's no point living together and share a house. Before I moved into share house, the share house in my mind was like Hell's House, which is like documentary show. I was so excited to meet new people and make new connections, I guess. Once I moved in, some people were nice, but there are literally people who avoid talking just say hi and run into the room that was not what i expected so after that i moved out because i didn't like it i kind of stayed like a year the other concern was the room was too tight and i only had the little windows and i remember i started to feel like i'm in a box so i started to researching about another share house the house that i found was cold living share house this was my room i had a bigger window bigger table bigger bed little clothes hook thingy and i really liked the room also the location was perfect it was only 10 minutes away from the closest station that i was using every day by walking and the price was same as this one all people were living in one house here's the differences it was co-ed share house so i had to share the house with men's too i mean i didn't mind any you want to know cons right so this is totally depends on where you live but there are people who don't care about living together with someone else like i'm sorry if you're eating something but leaving a little bit of in the toilet or like on the toilet never clean it by himself rock music in the middle of the night like i don't mind a little bit and i remember some people complained about it but i don't know i don't know what happened after that and also no communication no socializing none of that i had only two friends that i made from the share house and they were from england and also thailand all of the japanese people that i tried to talk or tried to you know just little conversation like hi how's it going how are you today what did you do today what do you do nah didn't work they all just run into the room and the other reason that i decided to move out was at some point i was the only girl who lived in the share house and i was living in the share house with 11 men so i felt uncomfortable not that i'm saying that all of the guys are so rude or like doing bad behaviors or anything and nothing happened but i felt uncomfortable Overall, I would never do share house again. I wish my experiences was more fun, socializable, but it didn't happen. But I don't want you to leave this video with only my negative thoughts. So here's another experiences that my friends had. She lived in international share house, which is more like for people from overseas. Whether if it's short term or long term, a lot of international people live in this share house. I wish I could found this when I was searching about share house, but fortunately I couldn't. She told me like there is theater room, gym room, or like bigger community space than I had. The first share house that I had was like, there's no community space. You can always research like, like what type of people live in this share house on a website or sometimes you can go there and have a look inside so i highly recommend you guys to do that all right guys here are my experiences about my share house i hope this video was helpful for you and if you're thinking about moving into share house i hope you're gonna have a better way better experience than i had comment down below if you have experience of living in share house i'm pretty sure you'll help on other people as well by the way i moved to the state a few months ago to follow my dream to become a professional dancer in the state and i 
made my dream come true, and English is not my first language. If you're learning Japanese or English, Spanish, whatever, if you want to know how I learn English and how to practice speaking, here's the video for you. I hope this is going to help you learning Japanese or learning another language, or maybe you can prepare to go to Japan. Or if you want to get to know about me more, then here's the video for you. And I'm talking about how I became NFL Dust Cowboys with Men Blue Dancers. And I will see you guys in this video. Bye.